Hi, uh, this is Dilish here from uh, Bangalore. I work for Sungar Technologies as a project manager. I am a, a you know, safari enthusiast, you could call me. I have been uh, associated with safari for a very long time, uh, more than six years now. Six. Uh, I started off owning a Tata Sierra probably uh, eight years back. Uh, had it for two years, drove it for 85,000 kilometers. Then uh, bought my first safari. Uh, and held it for like close to six years. I drove it for uh, 1.3 lakh kilometers and surprisingly it has been an amazing vehicle for me. I'm an outdoor person, I travel a lot. As you see, five years and 1.3 3 lakh kilometers is a big deal. <laughs> and uh, the best part of the car was rugged, stable and hardly any servicing. Besides the standard servicing, I think probably the entire service cost which I incurred was 45,000 rupees, which I would say is amazing compared to the fact, you know, how much I've driven and what terrains I've driven. The new Safari which I picked, uh, which is a Dicor uh, BS4, was an amazing experience for me. I went through all dealerships in Bangalore, uh, trying to understand what offerings they had and uh, what kinds of features was offered by the car. Uh, took test drove a couple of times, uh, tested a couple of times. Uh, saw how the car was, what the performance was. Uh, finally, when I came down to Concord and I met up with Rajesh from sales, I was really impressed. He uh, spent a lot of time, invested time in explaining to me what the features of the car was, uh, why it made sense for me to pick another Safari and uh, finally did buy it close to a year back. Uh, I'll just go back a bit and try to explain to you as to what my lifestyle is. As I said, I'm an outdoor person. I travel a lot. Uh, on average, I would travel approximately 30,000 plus kilometers every year and, uh, you know, really bad roads. As you know, India doesn't have really the best roads in the world. Uh, the options I had in this segment was probably, uh, I was looking at probably uh, Innova or a Scorpio or a Safari. I test drove the Innova. The basic problem I felt was uh, it's a very long car. It's the same size as a Safari, which is good. But the braking, if you have just two people in the car, it's kids. And uh, when you turn it at high speeds, you don't get the stability in the car. Again, with respect to mileage, Safari was better compared to even an Innova. So it, that is one factor. The second factor is it's a very light car. You know, you go and press the uh, you know metal body, it just goes in, which is not something I'm comfortable with. I want something really rugged and strong. The second option I had was with the Scorpio. I test drove it quite a bit. The uh, basic problem I felt was with the uh, stability of the car. At 100, I try and just hit a break. I don't feel the comfort, which I had with my previous Safari. Uh, I was also looking at uh, the basic uh, build of the vehicle and trying to see how good it is. I felt the Safari is better. My experience again with uh, Concord has been good. Uh, starting in sales, a lot of investment was done on my uh, with me. I really enjoyed uh, understanding the car, uh, spending time on how the car features were. A test drove the car, understood what the capabilities of the car was, uh, even saw how fast it can go, how quickly it can break. A lot of things was explained to me and uh, demonstrated by uh, Rajesh, uh, which made me uh, feel really good that I should go ahead and pick this car. So purchased this car uh, last year, December, uh, 2010 December. Uh, ever since I've driven 32,000 kilometers. Uh, amazing car, the power is just too good. It's very much drivable in the city. Uh, the best part about the car is you take it on the streets, nobody comes close to you. It's a big car. Uh, you can see all four corners of the car, so you can just drive in and you know where your car stays and uh, you can just drive it through the city traffic with ease. <laughs> the power of the car is, again, something which I have to talk about because I take it on long distances. Doing 140, 160 constantly has no issues on the car. And uh, of course, you can brake within no time. The car is fitted with the ABS. Uh, I didn't want an airbag because I have a dog. I do travel around with a uh, dog in my car. So it made a difference to me uh, not having airbags. But uh, the, I would say it has been a very good buy for me. have driven a lot. Totally enjoyed having the car. Servicing, again, uh, I had multiple options to service the car. I have been servicing only with Concord Hussur. Uh, totally enjoyable experience. Uh, I usually work with Prem and Tulasi there. Uh, the best part I like is the amount of relationship they maintain with you. They understand what your background is. They try and talk to you about what kind of uh, drives you go on and they talk to you about uh, how to manage the whole thing. So uh, overall I would say excellent vehicle for Indian roads, rugged, stable, uh, superb speed, awesome mileage.
consistently gives me around 11 kilometers per liter in the city as well as the highway of course i drive pretty fast so i don't expect more a uh, memorable experiences uh, there is so much to talk about a safari and long drives uh, as i said it's an amazing car you want to hit the highway it is the right car for you uh, probably one of the longest drive i've gone is over a weekend where i drove from bangalore to kerala kerala to hyderabad and hyderabad back to bangalore this is close to 3000 kilometers uh, the beauty of this car is the leg space and the seating uh, arrangements which you have uh, the bucket seats are really comfortable you have a lot of leg room uh, five people in the car you feel really comfortable to sit through a long journey like this uh, even if you have a dog uh, it's very easy to uh, accommodate him and you can just put him at the back of the car and he has enough space to walk around and it's really comfortable uh the beauty of this long drive was the you know we had fogs we had rain um, it didn't make a difference to your car uh, still better potholes which is typical of indian roads no hazards at all you can just drive through them small humps rumble strips drive through neither do as the car feel a thing neither do you feel a thing that's the beauty of this car uh experiences also have been with uh, regards to the quality of the car the build the uh, of the car uh, i had an incident where a tree fell on my car really uh, huge tree i really thought that the car was completely damaged we pulled the tree off the car and all we see is there's a dent on the uh, bonnet that's it uh, it hasn't even uh, gone in neither has been a huge damage to the car the fix is really relatively quick just took probably a couple of days and i had the car back with me So it's an amazing car. Uh, totally enjoyed driving it. Uh, look forward to the next version of it, uh, which is a Storm. Uh, 